welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be taking you on how to create ar fashion pieces and for today's tutorial i am making use of this 3d model which i got from sketchfab i will drop a link to get this model so you can also follow along with me for ar fashion you basically need two pieces because today we are focusing on the foot and for humans you basically do have two right so you have your left and you have your right foot and we basically are limited to just one foot and based on this limitation we'll be creating a way around it right so what i'm going to do now is this i am going to click on tap on my a button on my macbook i am using a mac by the way so i would be mentioning keys on my macbook but i would make sure to drop the alternative for windows in the screen right so for this i have um, tapped on my a and that selects all the components of this all the meshes on this and what i'm going to do now is this i am going to tap on shift plus d and you would see that that allows me to create like a duplicate of this and what i'm going to do is i am trying to keep this on the y axis so i am going to tap on my y and you would notice that i can take this all around but it's going to remain on the y-axis so now i'm going to do that and the next thing i'm going to try to mirror this also on the y-axis so what i'm going to do now is this i am going to tap on my control plus m which you would see it allows me it has highlighted this and what i'm just going to do is after um, tapping on control plus m i am just going to tap on Y, which is going to mirror this on the Y axis. So now we have this and what I'm going to do next is I am going to just select this and come over here. You can actually see on here it is selected. So I'm going to come over here and export and export as G, GLB, which on that year I would export it, making sure I've included by taking the select object and then i can export right i would do the same for both this leg and also this leg and after this i am going to be going to lens studio to start the ar experience great now i am in lens studio i am making use of the template file which is the footwear try on which you can always get under the template section of lens studio so what i'm going to do now is i am going to be making use of sneaker one i'm going to be making edit under this and you can see each time i open i basically see more um, things under it so i would be making use of shoe r and shoe l which is for the left and the right leg right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drag the models into it which i will drag them from here and what i'm actually going to do is just drag them in here and just drag them into this this is going to ask me to import and i'm going to let this go i'm just going to click on import i am not making any selections or deselecting anything so i'm just going to import and note this would most likely take a while based on the size of the model we are using so as you can see now i have been able to import both the left and the right so what i am going to do is this i am going to open this up and open this up and i am going to make use of this file that has the p under it on it right and i'm going to hold this and drag this into the left foot and then you would actually see now that this is a whole lot right it is very big right and what i'm going to do now is this I am going to come over here to the scale. I am going to make sure to tap on this so it has a uniform scale across, right? So what I'm going to do is change this to most likely a, let's use a 7.5 and see what happens. So now you can see this really downsized it a whole lot. And what I'm going to do now is this. I am going to make a rotation on this axis, right? Which I can either choose to make rotations this way or if i know oh, okay what i'm working with is a figure i can think around i can just go with minus 90 and that basically helps me take it immediately to this right so you can see 
it is by the side and you see on the preview window it is showing but it is side by side with this so what we are going to do is we are going to make adjustment to the movement and drag it in until it is at the same um, spot with this i am tapping on this so i can actually see like a top view of what it looks like right so now i'm going to make adjustments to it for it to sit properly and yes i am good with this right you would see that there are some little um bulging from the from other shoes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here select using my shift um i've selected the first one now holding my shift and selecting the last one it helps me select everything and what i'm going to do now is delete right so that delete and you would see that in the preview now that is gone so what i'm now going to do now is i'm going to now do the same thing and import the right shoe which as you can see i drag the thing and now it has covered the whole um screen yeah so what i'm going to do again is the same thing uniform scale and take this to 7.5 so you can actually see now that this is making it look some kind of way so again what we are going to do is we are going to take this on the y-axis put a minus 90 and you would see that okay now this looks this seems to be sitting properly on this right so what we are now going to do now is this um we are going to select this and make any little adjustments we have to do but from the look of this, we don't actually need to make any adjustment. So we will just make this zero, right? And what we'll do again, same thing, select the first one, shift, select the last one and delete. So now you can actually see that now this is looking so perfect. But again, we are not making use of this UI button. So what we are going to do is we are going to come up here and deselect it. So this way, we just have it showing up the experience you want and what we then do is this make sure you always check your performance right because this shows you your length size and which is not meant to exceed its mb so you check here constantly to know if this is in good condition for you to have like a very good and smooth experience for your users right so now we close that and make sure to always come to your project info to make changes because under the lens name is what would make it known because if let's imagine people search for Dior and you name this Dior shoe or Dior sneaker sneakers if they actually search on on snapchats for Dior sneakers that is what it's going to bring out it's going to bring out your experience and once you do that you apply and then what you do is you publish to the lens so this is how you can create a AR piece thank you once again and I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel like this content if it has been helpful to you and also drop a comment if this has been helpful to you see you on the next tutorial